Uh, ideally, TVET is a, a very important sector when you look at development of a country. And uh, just as to your question on the status of TVET, I think for a long time the TVET subsector had been uh, neglected. And uh, I think a lot of interest was not on that area. And this is simply because uh, there's a lot of push towards, you know, uh, once you complete your high school education, then you need to go to the university. Mm -hmm. And uh, the TVET subsector in itself has always been looked into as, you know, an area for those who did not do well to qualify to university, which is a very wrong misconception. Mm -hmm. So as it is, uh, the government has put in enough efforts uh, starting 2013 when the TVET Act was enacted. We have uh, state agencies that are now in charge of uh, supporting TVET reforms in Kenya, the TVET Authority, which we've just talked about. Uh, the push towards competency-based education, uh, which is something that is now taking shape into the country. Uh, for everyone to be able to realize that TVET is designed in such a way that it's supposed to be flexible. You acquire competencies that enable you to easily integrate into the labor market. For example, you might, let's say, learn just a skill on installation, uh, for example, let's say light installation or electrical installation. That skill, once you have it, you can move it to the industry and it can enable you to get a certificate for it and it can enable you to start earning. So you don't have to complete like, you know, you know the, the, let's say, courses that take a very long duration of time. And that's the purpose of when you talk about competence based. You acquire competence, mm -hmm. then you can be certified on that competence, and that competence gives you the skill for you to start practicing mm -hmm. already in the industry. So I think there are already tremendous efforts done towards uh, you know, reforming Tibet in the country. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there is a